Hey YouTube, welcome back. Um, problem number 937. Record data in logs in log files. So you are given an array of logs. Each log is a spaced um, delimited string of words where the first word is the identifier. There are two types of logs. We have little logs, which is all words except the identifier consistent of lowercase English letters. We have digit logs, it's all words except the identifier consists of digits. Record these logs th so that the, li uh, the letter logs comes before the digit logs. The letter logs are sorted lexicographically by their content. If their content are the same, then sort them lexicographically by their identifier. The digit logs maintain their relative ordering. So we have this as an example. We have the logs, we have digit logs, and it looks looked like that. And the output should be uh, this one as first because it's not digits and and so on so forth. So we can see right now the letter the little logs becomes before the digit logs. So let's make a problem recap here. So you have a list of logs. Each log is a string that starts with an identifier followed by either a word or numbers. And your task is to record the logs such that all letter logs come before digit logs. And also letter logs are sorted lexicographically by their content. If two logs have the same content, they, can, they are sorted by their identifiers and the digit logs remain in their original order. So the steps to solve this problem. First, we need to separate logs into two categories. We need to separate them into, uh, we need to determine which logs are little logs and which logs are digit logs. And after that, we sort the little logs and after that, we combine all these logs together. How we will do that? First, let's just try to separate so I will um, I would create let me just I will create first uh, const um, I will do like a function to determine uh, do, do do determine if a log is a log um, is a log digit for example so this one is called is digit is digit log and this one I will do like some sort of uh, uh, yep. I would say for each um, uh, how to do the opposite one I always forgot it um, okay let's just do let's do some sort of regular expression here so um, dot test we need to test the uh, log, this log, uh, the split, and of one. Okay, I will try to describe this. So um, the purpose of the isDigit function is to determine whether a given log is a digit log or uh, an, or not. And a digit log is defined as a, lo um, as a log where the words after the identifier consist of digits. So how we can discover that in, 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 in regular expressions? So first we have the function definition. This one is the function definition. And the is digit uh, is defined as an arrow function that takes a single parameter, which is log. And, um, the function return a Boolean value indicating whether the log is digit log or not. First, we split the log. So uh, log dot split. We split the log string into an array of substrings based on spaces. Uh, for example, uh, uh, this one. Let's let's give an example. This string by the split, it will look like that. Let's say it will look like that exactly. 
After that, we need to assign uh, assign the second word, accessing the second word. So this is the second word. And after splitting the log, after splitting uh, the log string into an array, log uh, in, into an array, log dot split of one x is the second word, the first word after the identifier. For example, digit eight uh, eight one five five. This one, so we need to exiting the second one directly. So here in the test, we test if the word is a digit. So D here is a regular uh, is a regular suppression that matches that matches any digit from zero to nine. And test is a method that checks if the given string contains any characters that match the regular expression. So the full uh, function checks if the second reward of the log contains any digits. And that's it. So let's continue in the function. After that, I guess we need to create two variables, two uh, letter logs, which will be empty array and let uh, digit logs, which will be as well an empty array and i will make a for loop here which will be let log let single log of logs of logs here and i will say if is digit and i will put the single log if that was the case, I will push digit logs dot push the single log. Otherwise, I'll push it to the little logs. Okay, so currently we have done uh, the first thing, which is do, which is to separate the digit logs from the letter, lo letter logs right now we need to sort the letter logs by themselves how we can do that okay we will do this if you if, if we need to do this we we need to have some sort of experience with the sort function so let's try to um to do this so uh Sorry, I'm just... Uh, so, how we will do this, let us let me just close this. And I will say, for the little logs, we need to sort them. So, the little logs are sorted lexicographically. So, first, we need to sort them lexicographically. And if their content are the same, then we should sort them lexicographically by their identifier. Okay, so, I will say, that, uh, 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 little logs dot sort. And have a, it will be take a, uh, a callback function a to b, and yep, let's see what we'll do. So we need to make some variables um, that will be uh, for a and b. So first, I want to split const a split. So we create an array. It will be equals a dot index of and b as well and i guess i need to create uh, some other variables and we'll try to discuss all of them in a bit but just be patient so i would say const um a identifier i i then t fire which will equals um a dot slice from zero to uh a split and b identifier is the same okay um after doing the identifier we need to do by content so const a content content 
which will equals um, we said that the, the identifier here and the content is the, is the other one so it will be oh this is a problem B it should be uh, as well a dot slice I guess it will be a split plus uh, a split and um, plus one because it's the, the rest plus one and I will say also uh, we will have const uh, b uh, content uh, I guess it will be equals um, b um, b not slice I guess slice or split uh, slice slice that slice it will be um, b split plus one because it would be the rest okay so uh, first let's try to discuss everything step by step so we have a split and b split um a split and b split store the index of the first space in logs uh, a and b um, and this space uh, uh, separates the identifier from the rest of the log after that we get the identifier so after, after after doing the index or so that separate the identifier from the rest of the logs, we get the identifier. So the identifier are parts of the logs before the first space representing the identifier, and um, and the B content and the A content are the parts of the logs after the first space representing the content. After that, we need to compare the content. So um, uh, how we will do that? I would say. Um, I would say I would say const compare content compare uh, content content and it will equals um, a content a content the local compare. I guess this function is quite new to you guys. And I will put in it the B content. And after that, I will say if compare content doesn't equal zero, we return it. The compare content. If the doesn't basically if the equals zero, that means the R matches. If they don't match, we should um, uh, sort them by the identifier. So I should return uh, a identifier dot local compare, which is b identifier. Okay, let's try to discuss this one here. So um, the local compare is used to compare a, a content and b content lexicographically. And uh, this is the local compare function is used for that exactly. So um, if the contexts are different, the compare context doesn't equal zero. That means they are the same. The function returns the compare content, uh, which determines the order based on the contents, basically. And the number four here, uh, this one is that return the identifier, the local compare of identifier. If the contents are the same, the compare content will equal zero. Because how the sort function works, if 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 it doesn't equal the same, it will be a negative number or positive number. The negative number means like for example, a should be before b or b should be before a. It depends on which positive, which uh, negative, and which one is the first. But if the matches, it will equal zero, and that means if the contents are the same, the co a compare content will equal zero, and the function process to compare the identifier lexicographically. The results of the identifier local compare uh, b of identifier determines the uh, the order based on the identifier. So let's submit a code and see if it will work or not. But I didn't return anything, so it will not work. Uh, oh. Anyway, I guess I need to return something. I guess I need to return whatever is in the two logs. Uh, there is something wrong. Uh, uh, okay, there are too many things lo 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 wrong here. Let's see what.
Um, I guess I did this one wrong way. Or what? Submit. Oh, it's the same. Let's 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 try to discover what was what went wrong. So if digit logs single log here and the uh, digit log is the single log, mm, there's log else and everything looks good here. A dot split, A of index and B of index, A dot slice, A split, B dot slice, B split, and A dot A split, B split. Everything look good. Compare a content the local compare with B content. F if compare content is equal zero, we should return it. Otherwise, return an A identifier the local content with B identifier. After that, we return. What was the wrong thing? I don't know what was the wrong thing, and I don't have the time and the energy to be honest to try to search for it. So. I will just uh, try to put the previous solution, which is the same solution that I just created. Uh, let's submit this one. Yeah, it is the same solution, to be honest. Let's submit again. Oh, again. Yeah, it's 70, 72%. So anyway, this is a solution for this problem. And if you like my content, subscribe and the fiction bill. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask me and that's it.